Hey everyone, Stephanie Gold here and I'm back with another Make It Monday from Paper Tray Inc. Today I want to talk to you all about using different papers that you can find around your home as a way to add some extra texture and interest on your cards. So here I have this little piece of journal page that I just ripped out out of one of my daughter's journals. And then I have a piece of scrap corrugated cardboard, or cardstock, excuse me, corrugated cardstock. This is actually a piece of an old dictionary that's ripped out. You can get books like this at garage sales, at old library sales, and if you get something like a dictionary, you won't necessarily feel bad about taking the page out. <laughs> and then of course some normal gift wrap tissue paper. You could, this is great to use scrap for the tissue paper as well. And then this is a piece of an old calendar that I saved from a couple years ago that I really liked the different designs and flowers, and I thought maybe I could use that for something later on. And then finally, these pieces of paper are actually, they were actually a gift from my mother-in-law who got them in Nepal, I believe. And they're just an example of almost like a paper mache type paper, like a homemade kind of paper, just kind of an interesting idea for something that you could use that you might not find around the house, but you might find in a random stationery shop or, or a, a different kind of paper place where you might think, what would I use that for? But go ahead and put it in your cart and take it with you because you never know when you can use it on a card. <laughs> so for my card today, I'm going to start using that little bit of journal paper that I ripped out. And I'm gonna use textile impressions and I'm going to add a little bit of interest to the top left and bottom right corners of my paper. Now, don't get too crazy worrying about when you're ripping these out. I have torn paper all along the side, but you know what? Those edges are just gonna make it look that much cooler when you're all said and done. I'm using smoky gray and I'm just stamping that one triangle pattern repeatedly on those corners just to kind of create a miniature focal point. I'm not being too careful about creating anything specific because I know that I'm going to be covering it up later on. Next I'm going to get out the Grand's Garden stamp set and I'm going to be using the smallest leaf image from that set along with green parakeet ink. This ink and I are having a good time lately on lots of cards. <laughs> Even the card stocks and the bitty bigs, I'm all about the green parakeet right now. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna kind of stamp right over top of the textile impressions we just did. And we're gonna enhance those corner, corner, excuse me, corner focal points just a little bit more. Once we're all done with those, then we're gonna go ahead and put this piece of journal paper to the side, and we're gonna get out the gift wrap tissue paper that I showed you earlier. Now these are just actually a couple of scrap pieces that I didn't end up using. And I'm going to be die cutting these with the two solid butterflies, the large butterfly and the small butterfly from the Life is Beautiful set. Now I am folding the tissue paper over once, so you're gonna end up with two of each butterfly in this tissue paper cutout. And go ahead and set those butterflies to the side once they're all done. We're gonna go ahead and get back to those and finish those off in a little bit. I really want to show you guys a way that I can use this piece of an old calendar on a card. So I'm going to cut out that top right corner that has a little bit of the book print in the background and that floral image right on top. This doesn't have to be perfect either. We're going for something 
sort of eclectic looking in our design. Now getting those butterflies back, we're actually going to be stamping on top of the tissue paper on one of each of the butterflies. So the first one, we're gonna do the smallest one first, and we are going to be using Bright Buttercup ink, and we are just going to use that beautiful design of the butterfly, and we're gonna stamp on top of just one of the pieces of tissue paper. We're going to do the exact same thing with the larger butterfly. We are going to stamp one of the large butterfly die cuts with that beautiful butterfly design from the Life is Beautiful set. And we're going to be stamping this butterfly in hibiscus burst ink. For our sentiment, I'm going to get out the good paper, and this is just a piece of Paper Tray Inks Stamper Select White, because we want to make a really, really good impression with our sentiment for this point. It's, it's going to be the focal point of our card, so we really want to use the good stamping paper for this kind of thing. So I'm going to be using one of the sentiments from the Life is Beautiful set, and I'm going to be using True Black Ink to stamp it out. added fun on our sentiment I'm gonna take one more stamp and I'm gonna put it right on top of our sentiment using the green parakeet ink once our sentiment stamping is complete I'm gonna trim this piece down and then I'm gonna add a notch in one side to make it more of a flag Now that all of our stamping and die cutting is complete, it's time for the fun part and putting all the pieces together. I have an A2 card base that I have previously scored, kind of hard to see in, in the video, but the first thing I'm going to do is attach that journal card, which I actually trimmed the top and bottom of it a little bit so it would fit a little bit better on our A2 card base. And I'm just going to use a small piece of score tape and I'm going to adhere it down only in the center and doing this kind of adds a little bit of flow and um, wispy airiness to the outside edges and kind of gives it a little bit more movement. I'm going to finish off this little rectangular piece of calendar a little bit more by just rounding the corners with an edger and making it look a little bit more intentional. 
and once it's ready to go, I'm going to use the exact same method and just put a little bit of adhesive in the center to make sure those edges can move. But this time I'm going to use a bit of dimensional adhesive to pop it up a little bit and add a little bit more layer. Here my butterflies together, since they're on the tissue paper which is slightly more delicate, I'm going to use my Tombow tape runner to just do a little bit in each center and make sure that I don't rip that paper when I'm adhering everything to my card. I am going to be adhering the solid unstamped butterflies on top of the stamped butterflies and this will mute the stamping a little bit but you can still see through them enough to where you get all of the design texture that we added from the stamping. And again, I'm going to use that same adhesive to attach our butterflies directly onto our card. standard hole punch, I'm going to create two notches on the top and bottom left hand side of our sentiment flag and I'm going to use these as little holders for some natural twine that I'm going to wrap around and tie in a little knot just to add one more little something extra to our fun card. And I'm going to use a little bit more of that dimensional adhesive to attach our sentiment flag directly onto our card. And that's it for this card everyone. I'm so excited to see what you guys put together using some different random papers that you find around your house or around your town. Get creative and don't be afraid to cut things up and get a little messy. Thanks for joining me everyone. I'll see y'all next time.